Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am a Kaggle Master Engineer Data Scientist. Guys, in this video, we have continued our churn prediction projects. In the previous video, mainly we have seen the programming statement, work on the data visualization part, exploratory data analysis part, handling the null value, categorical variable, and the outliers. Okay, so let's continue the today video, guys. Today, mainly we have focused on the modeling part, data modeling, and data preprocessing part. So in the previous video, we have mainly focused on the exploratory data analysis. We have seen the different different types of visualization and uh, mainly focus on the exploratory data analysis. So let's continue our today video. Today we have focused on the data processing and modeling part. So mainly we have in the modeling part, we have used a logistic regression, random fold and support vector machine, SVM. Okay. And then we have predict the output. So First, we have take a x and y value, df dot damage, we have take the churn column, churn column, okay, dot values, and then in a x, we have drop only churn column, and take all the values, and we have drop only churn column, okay. Next, we have scaling our data set from the range between the 0 to 1, we have using the from scalar dot p processing import minmax scalar. Then we have to write features is equal to x dot column dot values. We have each min max scalar feature range between 0 to 1. Okay. Then we have write scalar dot fit pd dot data frame. We have changed our uh, we have take a transform of the x data set. Okay. Then we have write x column is equal to features. Okay. Next, what can we do? We have split our data set into a train and test. So we have just write from scalar dot model selection import train test split x train x test y train y test train test split then just like we have take a x and y test size is equal to we have defined our data set into 70 percent in the training and 30 percent in the testing time okay then we have write random message is equal to 101 okay then we have import our logistic regression then we have defined our logistic regression and then we have called model dot fit function x train and y train Okay. After that, we have to check our the accuracy of the our model. So we have write one from scale and import matrix prediction test is equal to model dot predict, and when we have taken x test, then we have print our model dot accuracy. Our accuracy is the eighty percent, guys. It is to scale the variable in the logistic regression so that all of them are the within range from zero. First, what can we do? We have p process the our data set range between the zero to one this helped me to improve the accuracy from 79 percent 7 to the 80.7 80.7 percent further if we notice below the importance of the variable each also aligned with what are saying in the lambda force algorithm and the eda they have conducted it okay next this is our accuracy using the logistic revision then we have checked our weight of the variable means which columns are the more important Okay, so I just write weights is equal to pd dot series model dot coefficient of zero. Okay, index x and then column dot values. Then we have defined our weight dot set values using the ascending is equal to false. Okay, and then we have take only 10 columns and we have plot a bar plot. So see our total charges columns are the import very important after then contract month column, then intermediate, fiber optic, senior citizen, and so on. Next, we have take a last column, okay, then we have plot, plot a weight dot sort function ascending is equal to false, and then we have take a from last to in this column, we have take a first 10 column, first 10 column, but in the second line, we have take a last 10 column, okay, minus one. Okay, then see our tensure column is very important after that contract two year, then intermediate DSL and then so on. Okay, so this is the our feature importance column guys. Okay. Then our observation, what we do observe in this uh, particular graph. So we can see that some of the variable have the negative relation to our predicted value. Some of the relationship are the negative relation. Okay variable churn while some of the positive relation negative relation means that it links the churn decrease with the variable let's uh, summarize some of the interesting features below 
as we see in our ADA, having the two month contract reduce chances of churn. Two month contract along with the tension have the most negative relation with the churn as they are predicted by the logistic regression having DSL internet service also reduce the probability of churn lastly. Lastly, what can logic lastly monthly total charges, monthly contracts, fiber optic internet service and seniority can load the higher churn rate. This is interesting because all those fiber optic services are the faster. Customers are likely to churn because of it. I think we need to explore more better understand why this is happening and hypothesis on the evo could be really help. Next, take a random force. We have used a random force next. So I just import first of all in simple scale and in simple import random force classifier. Then we have taken the X chain, Y chain. Then we have split our data set into chain test, X test. And then we have taken the 80% of the training data set and 20% of the testing data set. Then we have write random state is equal to 101. Then we have check the model of the random force. Okay, then I write model random force classifier in estimator. We have used hyperparameter 20 in estimator thermogen puts the score true in job is equal to minus one random state 50 max feature auto max leap node 30. Okay, then we have fit our X train and Y train. Our we have fit our model into a X train and Y train, and then after that we have to predict our X train. Okay, now our accuracy is 80.8 means 80 percent our accuracy. In the previous behind we are using a logistic regression, our accuracy is 80.7, but now it's increased only one percent. 80.7. Let's check the our importance of the our features. Then I just write model dot RF feature importance, PD dot series importance, and then we have take a last 10 column. See our feature importance is contract month is the very important. After that, training, then total charges, online security, and so on. What are the our observation for the random voice algorithm? Monthly contract, monthly contract, tincture, and total charges are the most important. These three are the most important variable to predict the churn. The results from the random course are very similar to that of the logistic regression and in the line what we had expected from the our ED. Okay. Next, we have taken the support factor machine. We have used a third model is the support factor machine. Then we have again split our data set into chain test split. 70 80% of the data is the training and 20% of the testing. Random is equal to 99. Okay. Then we have import SQL and SVM, import SVC. Then we have defined our support factor machine. Okay. Then we have fit our X chain into X chain and Y chain. And then we have predict our model. Okay. And then we have check our accuracy of the Y test and prediction. Then our accuracy is increased. Our accuracy is increasing 2%. Our accuracy is now in using SBM is the 82%. With the SBM, I was aware to increase the accuracy of up to a 2%. 2%. However, we need to take a deeper look at the true positive and true negative rates, including the area under the curve for the prediction better. Okay. So these three models, guys, we have using a random forest, we have using a random forest, logistic regression, and SVM support vector machine. But when we use a support vector machine, our accuracy better 82%. Okay. So guys, this is this was all about in this video. I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe the channel if you are, are not already subscribed. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.